Exposing the magic in autoencoders. Why are there not more people talking about using autoencoders for anomaly detection? Let's break it down. Autoencoders are like the Sherlock Holmes of data science. They're neural networks trained to reconstruct input data. Using this algorithm, anomalies can't hide because they reconstruct poorly, leading to high error. Let's understand the building blocks of this algorithm. Step 1. Prepare the data. Normalize it, split it into training and test sets. Mostly normal data for training, and mix for testing. Step 2. Build your autoencoder. Think of it as compressing your data into a tiny package with the encoder, then unpacking it with the decoder. Step 3. Train it only on normal data. Use mean squared error MSE loss to measure reconstruction quality. Step 4. Compute the reconstruction error. Compare input to output and calculate MSE. Step 5. Set a threshold. Anything above the 95th percentile of your training MSE, bam, that's your anomaly. Autoencoders come in flavors, vanilla, convolutional, LSTM, variational, and denoising. Each has its special use case. Pros, great for high dimensional data, and no need for labeled anomalies. Cons, needs mostly normal data to train. Autoencoders make anomaly detection faster and smarter. Ready to give them a try?